Hello, so today's trick is we're going to use Able Set, which is a small web app that you install on your MacBook, which communicates with Ableton and it displays set lists. Um, and you can run your set lists from Ableton, especially if you're in um, arrangement view. Then what I'm going to try and do is um, remotely control the MacBook that has Ableton and Ableset on it uh, using an iPhone. So let's see how we get on with that. Wait. So you can probably see on there Ableset is going to pick up um, that stop marker and it's going to pick up and there's a remember reply it's going to pick up that marker um, and it's going to display them on the MacBook and on the phone. So the stop marker clearly, who well that's about stop. I was using IAC drivers, but that, that can be a bit flicky and a bit annoying when it doesn't work. But this is stop markers all in one go. Remember reply it will appear as a song. So at the top there you can see what looks like a little fish um, that's the Able Set app, and if I go into it, you see the Able Set is connected. I'm up and running. Um, it's got a remote URL there, and if you have the MacBook connected to the network, whether that be a band network or a house Wi-Fi network. And that remote URL can be picked up on your iPhone, such as this. So let's have a look what we've got on here. And all I've done is put in the remote URL. And there it's got our track list on this iPhone, which can also be controlled by somebody operating the MacBook. So if you click on here, if you open Able Set, you can see the songs that we can play here. Isn't that cool? Right, anyway, so back to the iPhone. And let's say we want to play clouds. Round and round. One, two, one, two, three, four. There you go. So there's the click, the cues, and the synth coming out of Ableton First, on two, here. Three, four. Old man lies under it goes to the mixer. And you can control it remotely using an iPhone. I have just tried on this old iPad, but it's not connecting. So I don't know whether it's because it's a very, very old version of Safari, which is probably the case, to be honest. Um, but uh, presumably, uh, a newer iPad with a newer version of Safari would um, fix that. So that means that if you've got these connected on the band Wi-Fi connection, um, which is the same connection as we use to connect to um, Digital Mixer, then no longer are we pressing a hardware button to activate songs in the set. How cool is that? So what other things have we been trying here? So. If you go into wet water, what I've done with an Ableton is I have put a marker in for each line of the lyrics. And you think, well, what's that going to do? Well, it's in response to can I have the lyrics in front of me displayed um, in time with what's coming out of Ableton into the mixer so that in some way there could be a prompt for the lyrics. 
So that got me to thinking, how much text can I put in against a marker um, on Ableton? So let's try that. So here's wet water, and if we go wet water, so you can hear wet water playing in the background. If we press the performance button, And then wait a bit because what's going to happen? The dusty barren bowl separates your lush green pastures. Apparently, and you can see the text for each line appearing on the iPhone. At the working day. And that's as far as I got, because it's quite time consuming to actually type the text in and make sure that it's right. So I got a little bit lazy there. Um, if, for example, uh, I want to stop, I can pause the song in the middle there, so you can pick up from a, t a particular point. If I want to restart the song, I can just click Restart Song. And off she goes again. It's uh, also telling you on the screen there the name of the song clearly um, and what the next track is going to be. It's going to tell you the BPM of Wet Water, which is 158. Um, it's also telling you that the auto stop feature is enabled, so that means that when it gets to the end of the song, it's going to auto stop. If I want to stop that and skip to the next song, it'll skip straight to the next song and start playing it. This is in performance mode. I haven't put any lyrics in for this one. I'm not sure whether the lyric thing's actually going to work, to be honest, but it was worth a, it was worth a go. I have emailed Leo, the guy that um, makes this software, and I've said to him, please, can you do something whereby um, we might be able to figure out to see um, the lyrics uh, in a big way on this screen? Which I thought might be a really cool feature, to be honest. And there we are, back to the, the home screen again. Now, also, what's dead easy here is you can edit this set list. So you can take songs off, put songs in, as long as they're in the Ableton session. And you can move them into um, different places. So, for example, if I want to play all this and more first, I simply move it up. Like that, well, lost and found first, then all this and more. It's also got the timings down the side. I mean, how cool is this? Which tells you that uh, bar a song that we haven't really quite sorted out yet, and bar a sound check file that we've got in there, that we must have around about 50 minutes um, playing time. And that's it. That's Able Set which is a fantastic piece of software. Thank you. Goodbye.